All right, this video is titled Buying a $1 million home in London at 18 years old. Canada Goose. Yo, what's up, guys? So I'm back with another video. I'm going to be doing a house tour today. I moved in here recently about three or four months ago. What's a million um, dollars get 18, you in London? So it's been nice being in my own space, and uh, I want to show you around. So in the living room first. Okay. Quite minimalist. There's not uh, too much going on. I'm still adding stuff. But... Yeah, nice TV on a mount there, an Xbox that I never 18, used. that at least 30? Bro, if he says he's 18, bro, he's 18. Blood is not 18. Bro, the nigga say he 18, you gonna tell him he's wrong about his age, bro? He said he's 18, bro. He's like, balding? He's bald at 18 sometimes, that's life. Some bald at 40, some don't bald at all. Some Like, that's life. Use this TV, I'll, I'll put it on if I'm watching UFC or something. Um, but yeah, not, not much going on. The old TV there, some books there. Um, yeah, simple. On to the hallway. Um, the first bathroom of the house. Not really a bathroom. It's just a toilet. And a he sink. looks like 18 he years in state pen. Bro, Glazenator, like, w actually, what does that mean, bro? What does that mean? Please break it down for the dumb niggas because I'm one of them, bro. What the fuck does that mean? Are you saying he, he, he looks like a guy who's been in jail for 18? He looks like a normal person, guys. Why are we pretending like he looks unique? He just look like a, a regular nigga, bro. What's wrong with him? He's old, bro. I'm not gonna lie, man. You need to go before you go out. You just go here quickly. Then onto the hallway. So w this painting I got from, I don't know, some art gallery online. It reminds me of when I was in Japan. I was sitting on a similar type of bench. The sun was setting and um, it was by a river and I was just taking in the moment and that kind of reminded me of it, so. I was like, yeah, I'll buy that. <laughs> and then this um, Capital Club 23. So this was when Mom I was in Spain. Mom grows a Fortnite pro. Um, I have this as like a little reminder that there's always people out there that are, you know, have similar goals and are doing the best they can. And I need to be like that as well. And I need to strive. Yo, there was to be an like era that. of so like Fortnite. That's just a little reminder I have. Where they were throwing so much money around, and then you could have been asked and came up on like a five thousand dollar check. <laughs> Yo, that era of Fortnite where they was just throwing millions at everybody was so crazy, bro. I like, I've never seen anything like that. Like the nigga that ranked 95th out of 100 people still left with five bands. I just have never seen anything like that. Into the first bedroom here. Blue themed. So, um, yeah, it's a nice little bedroom. Someone famous actually stayed here. So if any of you in the comments can guess who it was, I'll like your comment and um, I'll let you know. But yeah, this this is a nice little bedroom, and then was it KSI? It has a suite that <laughs> matches the color theme, blue towel, Not bad. blue backdrop. So yeah, it's nice, nice little guest bedroom. All right, so we've done the first bedroom, onto the kitchen, and before we go in the kitchen, let's look at the shoes that I have here. So I just have these because these are really the only shoes that I use when I'm going out, unless it's a special occasion upstairs. Even though I wear these for sometimes on special occasions, but. <laughs> It's just, it saves me going upstairs, getting them out of the box, you know what I mean? Gotta be Duke. Shoes, Bro, Duke shoes, has whatever. never been to the UK. Into the utility room. <laughs> Nothing too special here, just washing machine. <laughs> Nigga said, into the utility room. And then a fucking cinematic can, whoosh. And then the next thing I hear is nothing too crazy here, just washer, dryer. We got a Dyson vacuum in the fucking tabletop with a sink, man. Um, vacuum, <laughs> dishwasher, stuff, never even used. Um, the editor and him had different I ideas about how they was going to reveal stuff, that right so there. Amino complex, <laughs> small multivitamin, omega 3, vitamin D, and chlorophyll. That I'll grill that. Vitamin I only D! Cook eggs and steak on. I don't really cook anything else. Chicken sometimes, that's about it. Chopping boards, knives, nothing <laughs> too special. Here we have my suitcases that I've never actually used yet, but because uh, Fortnite eSport players do not leave their house. Amazing. I can't wait to use it. We'll be using that soon for a video, hopefully. Dining table, so. Bro, I'm so sick. Hey guys, I'm actually very sick of niggas telling me what the price of things in Texas are. Bro, the reason why, oh my God, I don't even want to violate Texas. Stop, bro, Texas is a great place, but niggas from Texas won't shut the fuck up about y'all real estate market. Keep doing it, nigga, it won't stay that way. Go! Keep telling niggas how cheap it is and see how quick niggas flood your market, dummy. You stupid bitch. Nigga wanna be able to chat, bruh. Niggas gonna flood your market. What do you think happened to Austin, stupid bitch? Niggas found out about it and now the price sky high. Dallas, keep going. Houston, keep going. Same shit gonna happen to y'all niggas, bro. Uh, uh, in, in, in Texas, the price would have been... Shut the fuck up. God damn it, nigga. In London, is not much space. Texas, 
infinite space. Do you see the problem? Okay? It's, it's the lack of space in this congested, ooh, gray, rainy city that makes it expensive. All right? Simple as that, man. Oh, my God. One million dollars? And it's going to be 400K in Texas. And, like, I, if you were doing it ironically, it would have been funny. But I know you're being dead ass. Who's fucking up the market agents here? Let me know. Surge. Surge. It's everybody, bro. Anyone that's moved to Texas in the past two years. Okay? All right, man. Literally, bro, it happened to Austin. I don't know why niggas think it's sweet, bro. If if your if your place get popular enough, it's going to skyrocket. Simple as that. Niggas think it's impossible because Texas has been cheap for dumb long. It doesn't have to stay that way. Nigga, when the Elons is moving business over there, nigga, and more people are moving over there, traffic start to pick up over there, nigga, the price will go up. Pretty basic. Um, it's pretty big, pretty spacious. I plan to put a TV here. Quite, I feel that would be really cool. A big TV there. But um, I haven't got around to doing it yet. Like I said, the the house is quite minimalist right now because I don't know. I just haven't. I've, I've added some stuff, but not a lot. Um, I haven't had much time over here. A nice little sitting space. I don't even really know what this is for. I might put like a pool table here. Um, weights, socks that are just drying on the. What the fuck? Why the fuck does he have random socks drying there? This nigga just showed us a dryer next door. Like literally, he has a dryer in the, the house. Is there like a benefit to air drying them? And uh, yeah, for the most Is there a benefit part, to air drying? The kitchen done. So we'll go upstairs now onto the other stuff and uh, follow me. The nigga said those are cum socks. <laughs> <laughs> bro, y'all niggas is actually telling on yourselves and you don't even realize it. Bro, the only niggas who would see socks and immediately assume a cum sock is niggas who come in their socks, okay? Just to keep it a buck, bro. Niggas that don't come in their socks don't immediately think that, bro. All right, now on top stairs. So, first room is my setup room. I know a lot of you guys would want to see this. So, here it is. Um, adjustable desk that Tough. I got recently. Not recently, Tough. months ago, actually. But the first month I was using this, I was literally, like, using it every single day. It was actually really good. But I'm going to be honest, for the past, like, three months, I've barely used it. And I know I should use it more, but... It is what it is. Um, yeah, nothing too special on the desk. And then a board here of my my goals, my daily non-negotiables, some stuff I should remember. I'm gonna have to edit a blur disc because this is a bit of a private type of thing. All right, onto the next room. So this room is, uh, don't even need to turn the light on. There's so much light in here. This room is just nothing, to be honest. There's, there's nothing in here. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do with this room because I genuinely- Make it into a know. sex dungeon. Um, I've had a couple of thoughts. I was thinking about doing another bedroom, but I just feel like it's not really needed. I'd rather have a, a space that I actually want. Like I said, let me know in the comments. I'm what else are you going to do with it? This, this is a very basic room. All right, on to the third room upstairs. So we've got this, which I like to call it's the storage small. room. It's too small? Nothing too special in here. Literally just stuff I get, I'll just throw in here. Um, like nigga, that's a Louis Vuitton further. bag? Oh, this nigga, some that's nigga bandit. <laughs> some of you may know, I used to read a lot of that. So a bunch of that in here, a bunch of books. All right, so now on to the third bathroom upstairs. I'm just saying, if you have an extra room, and you don't have kids or nothing like that. Maybe if you got kids, you could just lock it. Bro, you might as well have a sex. Chat, what a chat. Oh God, I'm gonna have a sex dungeon, bro. And I'm just saying, like, I have to have one, bro. And the main reason why is because unless you got a big ass family, bro, what are you gonna do with all them bedrooms? Ask yourself the question. If you live in a four bedroom house, it's just you and your girl, right? What are you gonna do with all them bedrooms, nigga? You can make one of them the office, two more. Okay. Nigga, make it into a sex dungeon, bro. Fuck. Simple. This well, third bathroom overall. Um, pretty simple. It's a nice one, though. We've got a bath. Um, this thing, if you want to put it up to read your book, the shower head, the toilet, nothing too special. Okay, so now on to my main bedroom. It's quite Blood is wild. It's quite simple, like the rest of the house. <laughs> okay, so over here in this corner, we uh, have this little table side thing. So we've got the book I'm currently reading. Two Y'all niggas read? Wall Street. I'm about a fifth of the way through. It's good so far. Um, we have my journal or where I jot down ideas. I think it's good to write down ideas when you get them in your mind so you don't forget. Then I've already got these two out. So these are my fragrances. These are the only two I use. I'm not even going to try and pronounce nah, them. Nah, this nigga's dropping the gems, chat. A lot of niggas gatekeep their fragrances, bro. I'm just going to butcher the name. But uh, this by Louis Vuitton and Spice Bomb Extreme. I love this one as well. So yeah, I'll use those two. And then my travel bag. And then the nigga said here, reading is so stressful. The first cupboard is <laughs> oh. just clothes that I wear like when I don't Drop know yours. where I'm going. Bro. And I have like the same H&M t-shirt, black t-shirt like 15 times. I just bought it 15 times. I'm That's smart. Nigga on Steve Jobs timing. Gym, 
shops, anywhere, I don't care, I'll wear that. And um, I also have the jogging bottoms. <coughs> so I'll wear black jogging bottoms wherever, I don't care, H&M, same thing. This wardrobe is just... You gotta get keep... You know, I don't, I don't get keep anything, bro. Stuff, but. Bro, everything I know, I tell y'all niggas, bro. I'm the least gatekeeping ass nigga you know, bro. Everything, bro. Like, literally everything. Niggas just don't listen to me sometimes. I have probably answered that question 55 times, nigga. I don't use cologne like that. Unless I'm popping out somewhere real fancy on some shit. I just use my bum bum cream. It has an amazing scent. I get spammed compliments, and it moisturizes my skin. Simple as that, bro. But this is where the black jogging bobs normally are. And then this is the wardrobe I love. So this is just the nice clothes. This is my, you know, there's only three brands in here. Yo, Phantom. Yeah, Thank you for the Bye. What's up, brother? So when I say it, it's L promo. When I don't say it, it's L gatekeep. How about you swallow cock, buddy? Yo, Phantom, thank you for the five. What lotion do you use? Are you trying to be funny or did you completely miss 10 seconds ago? What the fuck, bro? Phantom, thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Looks so good. The other one in the video, so this is for like winter. Like when it's very cold, like a trench coat type of thing. And yeah, that's that's the upstairs. That's the downstairs done as well. That's the whole house done. So wait, where's the master now bedroom? We'll take you to the garden. Okay, so onto the garden. We have the seating area here. Um, the cushions are inside, obviously, because it's been raining. But I've left these ones out because I'm an idiot. So uh, yeah, I should have brought those in. But you can fit easily ten people. Bro, here. it's outdoor patio people, so it's furniture. Nice You're supposed to leave spaces. it outside. Over here we have the ice bath I've just bought. This thing is amazing. I love this thing. Um, every morning I'm doing three minutes. Think about minutes. the ice bed? Like, it's kind of calm. Type of thing. I'm doing three minutes. It's got this like aluminium metal type of thing, so it keeps it out of the temperature. Here is swelling. It's also electric. So I should dead ass do more stuff like this. It goes to that. It's perfect. It works very well. It's very well made. And um, yeah, let's just let's go to the grass as well. So here, obviously, you've got the trees. Nice, nice long line of trees. You've got obviously grass as you'd expect in the garden. You've got a sunbed that's drenched in rain. Where's your watermelon? Weather isn't the best. <laughs> nah, this niggas, this, this niggas sit here like this got to be the loneliest thing I've seen in a minute, bro. This guy lays down on his chair, smack dab in the middle of his backyard, and does what? There's no TVs. There's nothing there. Maybe he just gazes. Because the UK weather isn't the best. <laughs> Nigga said villain as, shit. As no. um, yeah, every day I'll do 15 minutes of grounding and breathing here. So I'll just walk I'm on the same time, bro. I'll be doing my breathing kind of exercises. Sticky, but <laughs> it does help clear my mind. Um, and just long, uh, no, quick inhales and slow exhales. And uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a nice way to start the day normally. Um, but yeah, that's the house. That's Completely the understandable. That's the outside, that's the garden. Um, I wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you so much for supporting me over the past, you know, six plus years. It's, it's been a good journey and we've got a lot more stuff to cover six plus years so, uh, so if he's 18 that means he started at 12 this thing has been a pro at fortnite since 12 bro yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video he reads oh true i didn't put two and two together